Hello, my name is Dakota, and I live in Virginia, and I used to be a lot more on the right, but the 2010s have really done a lot to change that as far as everything's going. Um, as far as the 2016 elections, um, I really didn't feel strongly about either candidate and I ended up not voting and that has been pretty much the worst mistake of my life thus far I regret it every day I'd give pretty much anything to go back and vote on November 3rd of 2016 Um, I was the mindset of a lot of young people I think that there's no way this crackpot is going to get anywhere near the White House and it just kept happening. He was he was winning the, the primaries, he was winning the debates and eventually it just came down to the two people and I just felt very difficult picking one over the other because I'd bashed Hillary so much because of her trade deals and lobbying for Walmart and other big companies. But I am eternally grateful for the chance to rectify my mistake this go this go around this year and I fully endorse Joe Biden 100%. He has my confidence as a leader. Um it's sort of like yeah, he'll be a better president, but it's it's petty theft. Like most anyone else could be a better leader than Trump has been. Um, one of the things that's really turned me off was pretty much his actions towards um, the late John McCain and how he was just utterly disrespectful to a, a POW, someone who fought for all of us. Um, the way he talked about women, the whole, you can just walk up to him and do whatever you want. I, I do it. I'll go up to him and grab him by the genitals. That that still turns my stomach to this day and it's been four years ago and I urge all my fellow Republicans if you have a soul if you have a conscience if if you have even a tiny one if you have a heart you you'll you'll help us in this nightmare you you'll move us forward and help save our democracy because another four years of him and the people that's enabled him I just don't think we can survive it as a nation.